So I don't normally do these videos where I look at a product like the MacBook Pro that came out in 2021 and revisit it a year later. It's just not my thing. I'm usually focused either on what's happening right now or what's coming in the future. But considering how blown away I was and impressed by this just weeks after it came out last year, I wanted to go back a year later after countless flights, countless videos, probably hundreds or thousands of hours spent on this MacBook to see how things have changed. Let's start off with the display. I got the 16 inch model in the 120 Hertz ProMotion Mini LED holds up absolutely perfect. It is so nice to edit with. It is really, really bright and it is just stunning. Like the color accuracy, the way things look on this display, it's just the best. I want a pro display with this tech so bad so I can have it at 32 inches because I, I'd be down for a MacBook bigger than 16 inches. I know there's a lot of 14 inch stands out there, but I want to urge anybody who spends long periods of time on their MacBook as I do editing that you, you want the 16 inch version. Like this is the model to get. So the single display on the MacBook is great, but what if you want to connect it to more? I want to show you guys how to level up your workstation by connecting up to three monitors and anything else you would need with Anchor, who sponsored today's video. So Anchor just sent over their 563 USB-C docking station 10 in one, which means that for the one single USB-C port it takes up on your MacBook, you're getting access to 10 other ports. Starting off in the back is the host port, which is USB-C and charges your laptop at up to 100 watts. Then there are two HDMI ports, one one which supports up to 4K and the other which supports up to 2K. And then if you want to connect a third monitor, there's the display port which also supports up to 2K. And rounding out the back is the Ethernet port. On the front, you're getting two USB-A 2.0 ports for things like peripherals, a USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 port, and then also a USB-C 3.2 Gen 1 port that supports up to 30 watts of power delivery so you can charge your iPhone super fast at the same time as your MacBook. It's so cool. And finally, you're getting an audio in out port. So again, 10 ports for one USB-C port on your MacBook, an incredibly good trade. And the multitasking that this has added to my workflow has been amazing. Being able to play music off my laptop, then put up my Twitter on the left screen and Final Cut on the right. And it's the responsiveness that has impressed me the most. Like all these screens are different resolutions, different refresh rates. You can just take it, go up there, instantly totally good. Here, like I, I don't know. I thought there'd be some kind of lag or it'd be a subpar experience but it genuinely feels native. So if you're looking for hubs or docking stations for your MacBook, Anchor's 563 USB-C docking station 10-in-1 with unrivaled performance will definitely meet your needs. So check out the link down below, and thanks again to Anchor for sponsoring this video. Now back to the MacBook stuff. And knowing the kind of work I was gonna be doing with this machine, I decided to go with the M1 Max chip, which is the most power intensive and most powerful chip that you can get in a MacBook right now. And it is just the best. <laughs> like. It's so power efficient. It's so powerful. I'm usually editing 4K 60-ish frames per second video. No stutter or lag. I remember my old Intel machine. It was so bad. Uh, programs just open up in a snap. It, it's ne it like never crashes. It's super reliable. I feel like this sounds like a like a dream because if you were a MacBook Pro user between 2016 and 2019, you know how dark it got. The M1 Max has just been perfect. I mean, I'm obviously excited for the M2 Max, which is gonna add a you know a little bit more power. But I don't know. The M1 Max in here is is just great. And you might think, well, that's gonna hurt battery life because it's so powerful. But I have not experienced that at all. The battery life on this MacBook Pro is just out of this world. I mean, it feels as good today. A year year after hundreds of charge cycles, it feels like it's new. The battery life gets me through multiple edits, sometimes long four to five hour plane trips. It's still going. It doesn't die. It's miraculous. And that's if you're using this machine as a workhorse. If you're just browsing the web or checking emails or texting on here, it will it will last me days. I, I will go a week without charging this computer because the processor integration with the massive battery combined with the power efficient display, it just feels right. It also feels right to have ports back on this MacBook. I have used the SD card slot more times than I could ever have imagined. It should have never left and it's incredible that it's here. The HDMI port is not nice and I've used that uh, infrequently, but it's really nice whenever I just need to plug my Mac into a TV. I can just do it, no dongle required. MagSafe is probably the one that I've used the least though, even though it charges ridiculously fast. The fast charge, if you don't use MagSafe, you gotta try it. It's like, 
It's nuts. But if I'm being serious here, probably the most nuts thing about this MacBook Pro are the speakers. I have raved about this time and time again. It is just the best sounding speakers I've ever heard in a laptop. And people make fun of me, but I regularly edit my videos only using these speakers and I think they sound great. Really, I think the only thing we haven't touched on is the keyboard and the trackpad, which feel incredible on here and no longer features the touch bar, which is the single decision I appreciate the most because I hate hated the touch bar. And listen, I know there were some of you sexual deviants out there that were using the touch bar all the time, but it's not for me. It's never been for me. It's never been for most people. And Apple removing it just shows that they actually care and did something better, which was bring the function row back, which is infinitely useful and so nice. And I appreciate it every day. And I'm looking around here to make sure there's nothing I forgot. I feel like there was something that caused controversy. Oh, the notch. Remember the whole notch thing, guys? I'm here to tell you that a year later, the notch has killed my three children. It's assaulted my grandmother and it, it tried to end me. Ah, I'm just playing. I love the notch. I've said this from the beginning. People called me crazy a year ago and maybe you'll call me crazy again, but I mean it. And I want you to know I'm sincere. I love the notch because it gives you an insane screen to body ratio. The camera is inside of that. And even if it's a little bit big, it completely disappears when apps go into full screen mode. So you don't notice it. I don't even think about it. I actually haven't said the word notch in relation to this MacBook in a year because it was a non-issue to start with and it was the right decision as well. I'm here to tell you that Apple only made right decisions with this MacBook and it is the best Apple purchase I've made, which is why I say it's the best Apple product they've ever made. It is rock solid from the build. Also the software, people complain about Mac OS. Mac OS, I have never had an issue on this MacBook Pro with. I have weird issues on my Mac Studio all the time, which is newer than this product, not on the MacBook Pro from 2021. Mac OS is flawless on here. The hardware is essentially flawless. I really just love this computer. I feel the same way about this I feel about the Apple Watch Ultra. It's just one of those products that it hits different. And even a year later, th there's no product in my life that I get this excited for that I talk about with this demeanor other than this MacBook Pro. When people see me uh, out sometimes, they're like, is that the new MacBook Pro? And I'm like, yes, you need to buy it. Like I tell everyone, you're not gonna regret it. No one will regret this. Um, at the worst case scenario, it'll be too much power and too good for you. All right, love you guys. Thank you for watching. Check out uh, Anchor down below. Thanks to them for sponsoring. I've been Sam, bye-bye.